We go now to Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who's in Moldova this morning. Mr. Secretary, good morning to you. Uh, NATO has said none of its 30 members are willing to set up a no-fly zone. President Biden has been very clear he has no interest in that or combat troops. But what more can the United States do here if, for instance, the Polish government, a NATO member, wants to send fighter jets? Does that get a green light from the U.S., or are you afraid that that will escalate tension? No, that, that, that gets a green light. In fact, we're talking uh, with uh, our Polish friends right now. Do you realize that fluoridation is the most monstrously conceived and dangerous communist plot we have ever had to face? Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Now then, Dimitri. You know how we've always talked about the possibility of something going wrong with the bomb. The bomb, Dimitri. The hydrogen bomb. Well, now, what happened is um, one of our base commanders, he went and did a silly thing. Well, I'll tell you what he did. He ordered his planes to attack your country. Uh, if the pilot's good, see? I mean, I mean, if he's really sharp, he can barrel that baby in solo. I mean, <laughs> you ought to see it sometime. It's a sight, you a big plane, like a 52. Vroom! It's jet exhaust, frying chickens in the barnyard. <laughs> yeah, but has he got a chance? Has he got a chance? <laughs> yeah, well, you, you, he's... on the bomb run, Ace. I'm going down below and see what I can do. Roger. Target distance, three miles. Roger, three mile. Target in sight. Hey, what about Major Kong? <laughs>